praise god good evening uh, everyone it's a joy god given opportunity to come unto god's presence to intercede for the various needs of the people of god in the church and around the church people are vehemently suffered and most of the people are being victimized and many people are many the lives of many people are trampled around and we the church the body of christ we are empowered we are commissioned to see the pain and suffering and struggle and affliction of the be people going through and this is the time for us to intercede for the various needs of the people around us and we are privileged to one even in this lockdown situation god has enabled us to uh, come before uh, his throne the throne of grace to pour out all our agonies all our heart unto the presence of the lord hoping that he is uh, in control of every situation and he is seated on the throne highly exalted and he will answer all our prayers and he will redeem his people by his mighty strength and power with that attitude shall we enter into this intercession yeah let's uh, before let's look to the lord in prayer loving father we thank you for the privilege you have granted unto us to call you abba father each and every day father god you are enabling grace you are sustaining grace as sustained us to keep our ourselves unto thy presence oh master as the church the redeemed community as a individual units of every home we come before the lord online help us lord to be inspired to inspire the people whom you call and what all the prayer petitions father god we supposed to uh, pray let it be acceptable in thy sight o master plus all the dear ones touch each and every one of our lives so master we are available father use us lord mightily for the edification of the church in jesus most matchless name we pray amen shall we sing few choruses and then we will have the uh, reading of the bible and then uh, contemplation and then thereafter around 20 25 minutes we will have the intercessory prayer we will pray for various concern which is at hand now we will sing oh what a wonderful wonderful the song number 15 on page 14 Oh, oh, oh. 
There are several things to give thanks to God. The way we live, the way we kept alive itself is an example to give thanks to God. When we come into God's presence, we are expected to be filled with gratitude for what God has done in our every day's life. Each and every moment, we, we have the free oxygen. If, 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 we are, if I am hospitalized, the ventilator charge and several things will be given. And our God, the loving God, gives everything freely. And we have to be thankful to God. And Bible says, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God. Whatever the situation happens in and around us, in the community, we have to take heart. And we have to bold enough to give thanks unto God. Because without God's knowledge, nothing can happen in the lives of the chosen one. And we are the chosen desire. We are the godly people. We are the set apart people. What all is happening in our lives, we are expected to give thanks unto God. With that attitude, let's give thanks to God. We will sing the song, Thank you Jesus, Thank you Jesus. <laughs> many things to give thanks unto God. God has uh, uh, protected our life. We have to give thanks unto God. Now, in the, during the earthly ministry of Jesus, Jesus Christ, He used to visit the blind people, visually challenged people and many other people in the seashore of Galilee and several other places. And once he, we happen to uh, read this in this uh, Bible, Jesus met with the blind man and he applied his strategy to heal the blind and uh, asking, he, he asked, Jesus asked the blind man to wash his, wash his eyes and uh, there are several strategies used to keep the blind man see. And once, no, one in one, 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 even 
Jesus was asking, how do you see? And the blind man said, I see the people as trees. I see the people trees. And Jesus said, I have to, again, I have to concentrate on your eyes to open it. And he opened his eyes and then again he asked him, now could you see the human being, the suffering, the human being as human being? He said, yes, Lord, I see the human being. So we have to, our eyes should be opened. We are blind. Our spiritual eyes are already blinded. And now when we earnestly ask God, Lord, open our eyes. And God is so faithful to open our eyes to see the miseries of the people, sufferings of the world. And we will be able to partake the sufferings of the people of this world. With that sense of understanding, let's sing this song, Open my eyes of my heart, O Lord. Let's sing this song on page number 35, song number 20. i 
give thanks unto thee for the time of prayer, time of worship. As we come before thy throne, the wretched creatures, Father God, we are waiting to receive the answer from thee, O Lord. Have mercy upon us and let this pandemic period be completely removed from us, Lord. Let Help us, Lord, to worship thee with a liberated heart and mind. Father God, we are not slaves. We are slaves for Christ Jesus because he has purchased us purchased us and he has paid price for us and we belong to God the Father. Father we thank you Master for enabling us to be united together in the worship session with our families, family members and through this let many more people be touched by the love of Christ and let this uh, song, song inspiration, song of inspiration Touch the hearts and minds of the people. Ultimately, let thy name be magnified and glorified. As we get ready to re meditate upon your word, Father God, as Mary pondered thy word in her heart, Father God, help us, Lord, to contemplate thy word in this evening. As we meditate thy word, let thy miracle happen in our physical body, mind and spirit, O Master. Use us, Lord, mightily. Father God, let our eyes, spiritual eyes, be opened to see the hidden wisdom which is found in thy scripture, O Master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, now we we read uh, as you last Sunday, last Wednesday, we we have seen the chapter, first Timothy chapter 3. Now we are uh, going to see chapter 4 we will there is there are uh, 16 verses all together now in the family units of four as a family together we will read the four four verses each I'll, I'll start it uh, reading I'll start the reading this uh, first Timothy chapter 4 the spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been sheared as with a hot iron they forbid people to marry and order them to abstain from certain foods which god created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and who know the truth for everything God created is good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving. Because it is consecrated by the word of God and prayer. If you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus. Nourished on the truth of the faith and of the good teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with godless myths and old wise things. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. This is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith and in purity. Until I come, devote yourselves to the public reading of scripture, to preaching and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters, give yourself wholly to them, so that Everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrines closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Yeah. Amen. Uh, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have gone through tough time in our livelihood. For us, uh, we have never seen such a pathetic situation 
in our life and we have never encountered such situation. Um, people are under stress, under frustration and we are restless. Sometimes we are restless and we see, we visualize the sufferings of the ordinary people, how much suffer, how much struggle they face in each and every moment of our lives. The migrant workers, like wandering around in, they are going and coming, they don't know where to go and where they are going, they themselves, they, are, they don't have any idea because if they go towards one direction, they will be redirected by the police people and the security guard and the protective force. And again, they will take a turn and go to another direction. From there, they will be guide, guided in different direction. So al almost all the people under the sun, they are collapsed. And many people, they don't find how to live. Most of people, they wanted to go back to their own native place. And people are restless and government is very much uh, struggling to, um, oh, to, to felicitate them, to keep them in order. Now every, almost everything is failed. The economic policy, the fiscal policy and the humanitarian values also devastated vehemently. Now this is the present situation. Keeping this in mind, we will read the scripture and our hope is in the triune God. God will do best for us. When God does something, it is beyond our comprehension. No politician can intervene the intervention, this situation, to control this situation. But it is purely from God. God permits. Without the knowledge of God, it is impossible. But this is because of God clearing out the ways for his second coming. He is preparing the bride and he is touching the lives of his people by his word. And that's how we are giving priority to contemplate his word. Now the uh, chapter we have read, fourth chapter of First Timothy, the other Apostle Paul, it's around 60, 67 AD, it's written, it is believed. And the, the, it, 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 it talks about the heresy and the wrong teachers and the people with heretical teaching and the issues facing in the society. Um, Num uh, verse 16, uh, sorry, verse uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First five verses say the heresy and the minister's opposition. Later the apostasy and the demon doctrines. How the doctrine is being manipulated. How the heresy is going to come, going to exist, existence. How the heretical teachings are already there in the church and the society. And this is the responsibility of the man of God to resist that, to abolish the heretical teaching from the hearts and minds of the people. That is recorded first to five verses. And first five verses. We can uh, see uh, spe speaking lies in hypocrisy, forbidding. Uh, not to get married and commanding to abstain from meats. Um, there are like that several things. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be re refused if it is received with thanksgiving. People they say that this is this is prohibited, this is accept accepted, this is permitted. This is uh, there are some uh, people they dichotomize the things knowingly or unknowingly. But if we are Sure, and if we ensure that the word of God is in our heart and we will be able to discern what is right, what teaching is right, what is permitted, what is permissible and accordingly we should act upon. And even many people, they spend many years in the seminary, theological seminaries and many people, they sit at the feet of Jesus. Definitely, the people who are sitting 
at the feet of jesus they will be alert and they will be well versed because the word of god the word of truth is in their heart and that's how it is uh, um eradicated from the faith minds and hearts of the people the heretic heresy will be eradicated verse 5 says sanctified by the word of god for everything will be sanctified by the word of god and prayer and pray in spirit word of god if we if we give importance to the word of god and things will be sanctified and the reality we face will be in our favor because god is ultimately he is the driver of the bus and he is the captain of the ship and he is the pilot of the air aircraft and when you, when we keep the keep jesus in our livelihood definitely with the word of god we will succeed that we will remove the heretical teachings the second how to a person of a man of god how a man and woman of god how to be a good minister it says uh, verse 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 this verses say how to, how one be a good man and woman of god it is very very clear refuse the old wives tales old wives chatters the old woman chatter the useless word avoid useless word and exercise thyself rather into godliness see you avoid the old wives tales old women's chatter and you pursue what is good for your spirit godliness pursue godliness that's written and bodily exercise as 8 9 following verses bodily exercise and spiritual exercise both are mentioned here bodily exercise was eight profit nothing little little it's of little value but godliness the spiritual exercise is profitable to both now and forever in the years to come in futuristic probable events and that's so it is the apostle paul makes a difference bodily exercise and spiritual exercise bodily exercise is of little value but godliness is profitable unto all things having promise of the life that now is and that which is to come and uh, verse 10 we labor and suffer reproach this things this this is for how a person be a good minister if we keep all such things in our heart and reciprocate then we will be a good servant of the living god and then another sect another points um minister when we keep all such things and command such things it will be valuable it will be more acceptable another section ministers ought to be examples to others ministers are expected to set an example not like others or others say not like others look at things not like others perce- see perceiving things and which we are different people was told what it says ministers ought to be example to others the ministers the called out people the chosen people should set an example ministers should set an example that's how it is written let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example of the believers in word in conversation in deed in charity in spirit in faith and in purity if we keep such qualities and virtues in our hearts and minds definitely we will never be stumbled and uh, we will set an example before the human kind and uh, last part of this chapter 4 there are commandments nine commands for the minister nine commands what are they was 13 14 15 16 it is written in this four verses give attendance give heed give attendance an exhortation to the doctrine we should be careful to the doctrine and then neglect not the gift that is in thee 
it is it, 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 in other words we should ask god to fan into flame we have we we are received the gifts from above gifts of the holy spirit along with the fruit if the fruit of the tree will be made known that what kind of tree is the tree will be known by its fruits and we people will be known by the by exhibiting fruit of the holy spirit love joy peace long suffering faith gentleness goodness meekness and temperance this fruit must be seen in all our deliberations that's how it is written fan into flame the gift of god that is in us gift of god which the knowledge prophecy uh, faith uh, give trading out of demons gift of healing gift of pro, gift of uh, speaking tongues and gift of interpretation gift of discerning gift of driving out of demons so this gift gift should be supported by the fruit of the holy spirit that's how it is mentioned fan into flame the gift of god that is in us um, laying on somebody's lay, laying on the hands on somebody on the people who are in need and the gift will be operated meditate upon these things um, give thyself holy to them to the doctrine to the word of god give thyself holy to them that thy profiting may appear to all and finally verse 16 says take heed unto thyself take attention to yourself and unto the doctrine and unto the word of the lord continue in them for in doing this thou shall both save thyself and them that hear thee when you keep your word of god, when you keep the word of god in your heart and preach and teach you will be able to gain yourself and the people with whom you deliberate that's the understanding so in command you this whole chapter how to keep us away from the heresy and how to be a good servant of god irrespective of gender and how to exhibit the qualities by doing good how can we gain the confidence of the people the listeners the receptors the the the, the audience and this is the understanding and we should be blameless when jesus appears we will be blameless. When we do that, we will be blameless. May God help each and every one of us to cling unto God's word. Hope this will edify you all. And as you sit at home during this uh, uh, pandemic period, during this uh, lockdown period, this is the time for us to <clears throat> analyze, introspect ourselves and uh, not accusing anybody and contemplating the word of God that will give you more life-oriented teaching and you will never be stumbled. May God bless each and every one of you. Let's continually uh, be in the attitude of prayer. Now we are uh, getting into the time of intercession. The time is precious and time is uh, more valuable than gold or pearls, the time of prayer. So we are uh, exhorted to pour out our hearts and minds in the presence of the living God. Even uh, from the Genesis to Revelation, we see people praying and we see people receiving blessings from God because our God, the God of Bible has taught us, taught the people of God to pray, how to pray. And the God of Bible also uh, made aware that he is the prayer answering God. And we have the hope that when we pray, God is there to answer all our prayers. And Jesus himself says, if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, provided you have to abide with me. And uh, with the grace, let's make petitions for the various needs of the church. Let's uh, pray for uh, Mr. Benner Roger. He's, uh, he's, affecting, he's, he's suffering from a kidney, uh, kidney problem. His creatinine level is little high. You please uphold him in your personal prayer as well. And uh, we are praying continuously for his uh, speedy recovery. And his, his level should come down. 
and the creatinine level should be come normal. And that's how we are praying. Shall we uphold him in our prayers? Loving Father, we thank you, Master, for the life thou hast designed and granted unto Benna Roger. Father God, as he is hospitalized, we pray, O oh Lord, let your healing hand be upon them. In the early Apostle Church, the disciples, the Apostles were put in prison and the early Apostle Church, they prayed whole night over the night. Day and night they prayed and God has answered their prayer and God has sent these angels to release the person who is in, under imprisonment, the Peter and several others. Father God, we pray, O oh Lord, you are not only the God of near and you are the God of far as well. We have the hope that you are the prayer answering God. Stretch out thy nail pierced hand and touch Banner Rojas, O Father, and let, let him be set right normal. Let his uh, kidney be set right normal and smooth in its functioning, O Father. What all the treatment he is prescribed, Father God, let it be acceptable in thy sight. And mold him, Lord, and help him, Lord, to be recovered. Let Help him to get a recovery, O Master. Be with him, Lord, and we thank you, Master, for answering our prayers and healing him and send him back home safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continuously, let's be in the attitude of prayer. We pray for the people who are affected with the coronavirus. Almost more than 3,50,000 people, they have lost their lives belonging and they are no more in, our, in all the nations. It's a terrible, uh, heartbreaking message and news for us. We uphold all the dear ones who have lost their dear ones. Father, we beg unto thee, O Lord, we fall prostrate before thee. You are in control. We are nothing, O Father. We are just dust, O Lord. We don't know when the end comes. Many times we feel insecure. Father God, in, in our own eyes, we see the victimized people affected by the coronavirus they are taken in the ambulances every now and then and most moreover our area where we are residing is uh, uh, father god noted as the red alert area red zone area and most of the times we don't know we are very much terrified with fear and the provisions are also not being met. Father God, this all the struggle we are facing. In spite of all the struggle, we are able to, we have the courage to pray unto thee, to seek the creator, the master. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Let the people be protected. Particularly, let the people who are in the red zone areas be given special attention and special care. Father, we thank you, master for answering our prayers and guarding the angels in the respective places, the places to mention, the Ganpat Nagar Patil and the Sangli Street, related vicinity in the vicinity, in the nearhood neighborhood areas. Father God, take full control over these areas, the people of this area, so Master. And let there be a miracle happen in the lives of the afflicted one, O Master. You are the God who lifts the hum lowly. You are the God who lifts the humble up. We thank you, Master, for answering our prayers. Make all the provisions for the doctors, the nurses, the sanitary workers, the health workers, the protective force, the police people, the NGOs, and all the other volunteers, the government officials. We commit them unto their loving care, the nurses and doctors in, special, in a special way. Father God, as they themselves are not able to protect them, we pray, O oh Lord, let your gracious hand be upon them and rescue them from the foulest snare. They don't know where the snare is, where the trap is. Father, be gracious unto them and let them be aware and alert let them be well protected because they also have 
husbands, wife, children, have mercy upon his Lord and let them be protected. Let the nations be protected. Father God, many more countries, developing countries, developed countries, underdeveloped countries, irrespective of various sins, every human being is being affected under the sun. And when you say your word, things will be set right and there will be a full stop over this. Father God, insecurity. You take full control over us, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus Christ sprinkle over all the victimized people. And let the people be rehabilitated. Let the policies for the welfare of the nations be reformulated. Thank you, Master, for answering our prayers. We praise thee, Master, for enabling us to make intercession for the various needs of these people. We commit to the people. Many lives have been lost due to the Amban cyclone. That is, many states are affected, especially the West Bengal, the Kolkata and Odisha. The people of these states were, are very much affected. Father God, the, as they take the rehabilitation process to rescue, as they take rescue operation, as they take remedial measures to keep the nation towards the welfare, keep the states towards the welfare, let the affected people get benefits so master, let their lives be rehabilitated, let the lives be built, built up O oh master and let them come into the normal situation where how they were in the past before the Amban cyclone. Father God, you be with them Lord and uh, say to them, say to their hearts, do not worry, I am with you in all this situation, I am the God who protects you, I am the God who is with you as Emmanuel. Let them have the clarity and assurance, O Master, from thy word. Let thy word be a real spoken word. Let thy word be truth, O Master, in their lives, O Master. And be with them, Lord, and bless them, Master. We pray for our Father God. We pray for the church, Burwell Methodist English. We thank you, Master, for the way you have sustained the body of Christ thus far. Around 44 years, we pray for the elderly, elderly senior members of the church, Mr. B.B. Daniel and Mr. P. John, and Mrs. Amma B.B. Daniel, Mrs. and Mr. P. John and Mrs. P. John and Mrs. Telgote and Mrs. Telgote and Father God and several others, Dr. P. C. David and Mrs. P. C. David, uh, Mr. Vikram Obale and Mrs. Vikram Obale, uh, Mr. Hari and Mrs. Hari. And several others, so Master, they need thy touch. Father God, they need to be well protected, O Master. Because of their age and their Father God, the ailments they have gone through, they go through. Make a provision for them to be healthy and strong. When you send your word, let the word, the word construct their lives, O Master. Let thy word protect them from all kinds of possible harm and evil. Father God, we thank you, Master, for answering our prayers and protecting our people. We do remember the people who are from our church, they are staying, they are staying in abroad for many years. Father God, we particularly the situation like this, they need thy divine protection and care. Let them be taken care, let their needs be met, let their, let, let their area of operation be guarded by the Spirit of the Living God. And Father God, you be with them and guide them, Lord, what to do further. And let them be enriched with thy word and deed, O Master. We pray for them, especially we pray for the migrant laborers as they are really struggling. Father God, let there be a full stop over their struggle, O Father. Let them be well fed, O Master. Let the government schemes reach their, reach to them, O Father. And let, let, let their life be Father God, be molded again because you are the God of concern. You are the God of orphans. You are the God of people who are dejected and rejected by the society. Have mercy upon them, Lord, and protect them from all kinds of possible dangers. We pray for the people, Father God, who are uh, really in need of thy touch and touch them, Lord. 
We pray for the sick people of our church. Father God, be gracious unto them. We do remember Mr. Manish Talgote. And in all the struggles, Father God, protect him. And let thy sustaining grace, let thy enduring grace be seen in his life further, O Master. Be with him, Lord, and be with them in a special way. Another peril, Father God, we heard that the World Health Organization, they are announcing that another perilous danger is fast approaching to the country. It comes from the Africa. Father God, in the form of locust, that is some sort of grasshopper. It is going to affect the crops of the states, the nearby states. Father, we pray that your guiding hand be upon them, especially the Rajasthan and the several other states of master in India. Father, people are already worn out and people are already, uh, Father God, uh, already struggled and already victimized. Have mercy upon them, Lord. Let them be protected from this locust and grass of us. Father God, we pray, O Lord, let thy divine power protect the nations, protect the country. When we compare to the death toll of our country with the other countries, Father, it is quite uh, consoling, O Master. But still, even a single life is more precious than anything, O Master. Have mercy upon the land and protect the land, O Master. We thank you, Father, for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We commit ourselves unto the loving care. Let the worship service be resumed very soon, O Master. Let the functionings of the society be functioned smoothly. Let the transportation, mode of transportation be opened unto the people. Let the situation become normal, O Master, for thy glory. Thank you, Master, for answering our prayers. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for you are going to do a miracle in the lives of the people who are earnestly seeking thy face every now and then. We give you all glory, honor and prize. Again, Father, wherever we are, the family units, the prayer cells, the individual units, let the units, individual houses be touched to a master by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let every houses, let the blood of Jesus be seen on every doorpost of every house as a master by which let them be protected because at the time of plague you have protected the people of Israel and the, their possessions in the land of Egypt. Father we praise thee master you are the God of miracles you can do wonders and marvelous deeds let thy wonder and miracle happen in the lives of the godly people in the lives of the people who are clearing out their ways in the lives of the people who are surrendering themselves unto thy loving care. In the lives of the people who are yielding themselves to thee, O Master. Have mercy upon us. Help us to live above ourselves, O Master. Help us to love the people around us. Help us to forgive the mistakes of the people who have committed against one another. Father God, be gracious unto us. Thank you, Master, for this time of prayer, time of intercession. If there is a name. Father God, things which is not pleasing unto thy sight, forgive us, Lord, and cleanse us by the precious blood of the Lamb. Continuously help us, Lord, to be an effective tool, usable for the edification and growth of the church. Ultimately, thy name be lifted up in and through our lives, so Master. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us this day. Continuously as we press on towards the goal, help us, Master, to run the race which is acceptable unto thee and which is which would be appropriate to a master. Be with us, Lord. We thank you, Master, for answering our prayers. The things which we have asked, which we have not asked, be granted unto us for thy glory and for the edification and growth of the church. We give you all glory, honor, and prize. In Jesus' most matchless name, who taught us to pray, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's receive the benediction. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father Almighty, 
and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you both now and forevermore. Thank you.